Hi everyone, this is Carlos Azalora, uh, founding CEO of G2. And first of all, thanks very much for watching this video. And second of all, to start off, um, I'd like to kind of make a small recap of 2017 and kind of our competitive success and failures very quickly. You know, th there was a lot of, you know, very, very high expectations in regards to our team. Expectations from the fans, expectations from, from the team and from the organization and from the partners as well, right? You, you look at this team and you're like, the, you know, this team must win. They're incredibly good. All of them are skilled and the team will, will kick ass, you know? And to some degree they did for, for a few tournaments. You know, you, we had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, you know, not everything was bad. We, we won EPL, we won DreamHack Malmo, we won uh, DreamHack Tours or Tour. I don't know, uh, I'm sorry if I'm triggering French people here. I could notice that by the end of 2017, um, Shox's, Richard's frustration was increasing in relation to the team. He definitely came to a point where, uh, just recently, he really felt like the team needed massive changes. Uh, first of all, Richard is a, an incredible, incredible player, one of the best in the world, hands down. Um, and, and by the time uh, that he was starting to get frustrated, I could start to see, you know, this may very well end up in a, in a, in a lineup change uh, at some point. So keep in mind that from the very first moment we saw lack of consistency uh, in the team, we were aware of it and we were already working on it. Because of all this, and on top of the unfortunate fact that uh, Richard Shox has a hand wrist surgery going on very soon, which quite frankly we don't know how long it's going to take to recover. Could it be two weeks? Could it be three months? No one knows. We don't want to put um, additional pressure on Shox's shoulder to uh, get back into the game before he really needs to. So when I give him time to fully recover, um, which of course will be fully taken care of by G2 as we consider ourselves as his family too. Um, and for those reasons combined, we've taken the decision to uh, bench Shox for the foreseeable future. During the time in which Shox uh, decided that a restructuring would be needed, um, he started pitching us and pitching me what his ideal scenario would be for a restructuring. And after a lot of deep analysis and deep thought into you know, speaking with every single player, understanding every possible component of this decision, uh, we came to the conclusion that we were not ready to make incredible changes that would completely shift the dynamic of the team um, too drastically before trying out what we believed could be tried out um, before we take any other decisions. So in other words, we felt like we could still salvage the team without extremely impactful changes. Furthermore, we believe in fairness and we believe that, you know, pretty much the rest of the team deserves a chance to prove themselves and deserves to know uh, what may happen if they are unable to consistently perform. So for this reason, we've decided what we decided, which is giving um, a team with MBK as a captain a chance to prove themselves for a certain period of time and then define what we do next. Some of you may have read the article that this video that you're watching references. And in that article, we mentioned that uh, Edward Smith is moving from the coach position to uh, substitute position. And I want to shed some light into this, into this development because it is very clear to everyone in G2 right now and himself, of course, that his main call, his passion is to still play Counter-Strike and not to coach. You know, he wasn't doing a bad job, to be honest with you, but his passion is still to play. He wants to become a world champion again. He wants to be one of the best players in the world, a player that every player wants to play with. And we as G2 felt compelled to invest in this future and to, for a period of time, um, invest in him, uh, increasing, improving his skills. Um, you know, he's been without playing for a whole year. So even though I saw him in deathmatch and he can still hit the flicks and the headshots, 
and he of course needs time to get better. So again, we want to give him the chance to improve his skills while he can still make a living in G2. Due to these changes, we've came to the conclusion that uh, Jerome Nyak, the manager of the team, uh, should become the performance coach of the team. This is not a new role for him. In previous scenarios, such as very games when the team was incredibly strong, uh, such as Titan, of course, when the team again was super strong, and in the moment, at the very beginning of G2 Esports, with uh, Scream and Shocks and RPK, Jerome was also the performance coach. So we have no doubts in our mind that this is the right choice. He, will, he excels at that role, and we just want to commend the amount of work and dedication he's putting into this company uh, and G2 Esports as a whole. We are incredibly grateful and know that he will do an incredible job. Following the news, we of course need a fifth player. Just know, first of all, that we have not taken at all this decision lightly. We wanted the best fifth player we could find in the market. And after long consideration, strong analysis, so many hours of interviews and, you know, grilling interviews, they weren't easy. We found that probably the best candidate was Oscar Mixwell, a Spanish guy that you probably know already. He's played in Optic Gaming and right now he's about to play uh, with Wololos, the Spanish team in WESG, the Spanish uh, national team. So we wish him all the best. Uh, he will be joining our team um, right after WESG. So again, wishing him the best. And just know that the guy has worked so hard to join G2. Just to give you a little bit of context, the moment he realized he had the slightest chance of joining G2, he started taking uh, French classes every single day of the week because his French was uh, slightly off, slightly rusty. And I could just go on and on and on about how he thinks about the team, how he sees, how can he can help, what kind of a team player he is, what kind of mindset he will add to the team. Just know that we're taking the right decision. I have no doubt on my mind. And I hope you guys can open your arms for him. Despite the very good victories we've had in 2017, it is no secret that we consider this year a failure, considering how good the team is and the results we should have gotten. Just know that winning uh, is in our DNA. We are the most ambitious and hungry team out there. And know that we are killing ourselves to make sure that we provide you with the results you deserve. Thanks very much for being there uh, you know, since day one. Thanks for your support and you told me.